Congratulations on your choice of Meditech ABP M05, a compact, silent, lightweight ambulatory blood pressure monitoring device, uh, which with all its accessories has been, here, has been presented here for you. This is the device itself, which is usually delivered with a normal size cuff. But optionally, we have a large size cuff for larger arm circumference patients and a small size cuff small for small adult arm sizes, which also comes in a sort of a patterned uh, version, which is a little bit more a favorite with patients who are uh, children. There is a small pouch uh, in which you insert a device before applying it to the patient's waist, which comes together with waist and shoulder straps uh, for securing the device on the patient. The device can be pro uh, programmed without computer, but its primary use is connecting it to a Windows-based personal computer using a USB optical cable connection. The device operates with two AA size, either rechargeable or alkaline batteries. And of course, the package includes a CD with the user software uh, that you can install on the computer included. The device itself is, as I said, small and lightweight. It has a relatively large size LCD, which will show you everything that you need to know during the operation of the device. Programming information, computer connection information, the individual measurement results, and uh, if there are any errors, it will also show error codes. The device has three buttons. This button lets you start an extra manual measurement, in addition to programmed measurements. The middle button, uh, marked with a heart, is to mark events. Whenever a patient takes a medication, has some strange feeling, goes to bed or wakes up, uh, they can simply push this button to set an event marker, which the device will store in its memory. And the last button will let the patient uh, switch from day to night mode if the device is so programmed. The device itself has two major connection points. One of them is right here. It's where the cuff is connected with its tubing. The cuff is an upper arm type cuff. And on the other side, right here, is a connection for the computer cable, uh, the optical USB cable. On the back side, this is also indicated, the cuff connector and the optical connection to either a serial port or, U or a USB port. There is also some information on the rating plate of the device, including the serial number. The battery compartment cover is on the back side of the device. This is how to remove it. Then you insert two AA batteries, and after the batteries are inserted, you just click it, click it back in place. So this is the device. Before operating it, you need to open the battery compartment cover on the back side, like this. Then you take the two AA batteries and insert them in the battery compartment cover. Uh, please observe the polarity drawing on the bottom of the cover, on the bottom of the compartment. So insert one battery with good polarity, insert the other, and then turn the device to observe battery voltage on the display. With alkaline batteries, this voltage, which is shown for a short time, should be over 3 volts to ensure a 24-hour proper operation of the device. Once you have checked this, please close the battery compartment cover. So once the batteries are inserted, the time will be displayed on the LCD. If you press the start button to initiate an extra measurement, the device will show all segments on the LCD, then set to zero pressure level and start pumping. If for whatever reason you wouldn't like to finish an ongoing measurement, press the same button again to cancel it. Then OFF is displayed on the LCD with multiple bleeps uh, audible in the background. And this will not influence uh, any following measurements in the plan. They will execute correctly.
if you want to press the event marker button to set an event, the LCD will show it with two dashes, which is displayed just for a short time. If you want to switch the device to night mode, the half moon, the crescent moon, will show that the device is now in night mode, if so programmed. To cancel night mode, you press the same button once again, and one beep is audible. But of course, this is just the uh, theoretical operation of the device. If you really want to operate it, you have to have a cuff properly applied to the upper arm of the patient and connected uh, to the device itself. So here's the cuff connection point. To connect the cuff, you just take the end of the tubing, plug it into the device, like this, and turn until a small click is visible, uh, audible clockwise. To disconnect the cuff, you turn it counterclockwise until a small click is audible and then you pull. So to connect it, push, turn clockwise onto click. To disconnect, turn counterclockwise, then pull. To connect the device to the computer, just take the end of the cable with the red marker to the edge of the device and push it in until click. To disconnect the computer cable, do not pull on the cable itself. Grab the plug and pull. So to connect it with red down, just push until click. To disconnect, pull on the plug. So once batteries are inserted, you may not have enough time to check battery voltage on the display. So you can check battery voltage anytime by pressing and holding the start button for at least 5 seconds. Now the LCD will show all segments and then it will show battery voltage like this. Press, keep it hold, wait a little and now this shows the battery voltage release. In addition to being programmable from the computer, ABPM05 can be programmed manually, lacking a computer, in which mode you can select one of three preset schedules for automated blood pressure measuring. To activate this feature, press and hold the day-night button and the start button at the same time. Wait. 10 seconds. This seems like a long time, but this is inserted in the device to avoid uh, accidental pressing. Then the device will show the available plans. When you have the plan that you would like, just release the buttons. This will show that the device will start now measuring 30 minute daytime, 30 minute nighttime measurements. Then it switch back to the clock and now it's programmed. It will start the plan in about a minute. So once the recorder has been programmed, either with the use of the computer or manually as shown before, the cuff has to be applied to the patient's non-dominant upper arm and connected uh, to the programmed recorder. With a normal sized cuff, it should be connected, as I said, to the non-dominant arm in the way that the small marker should optimally fall to the artery line and the end of the cuff should fall in the proper range marker. If the arm is thicker than would fit in the range, please use a larger size cuff. If it's thinner, please use a smaller size cuff. With this little clip, you can fasten the cuff to the upper arm to prevent sliding. Once the cuff is applied with the tubing leading upwards from the non-dominant arm and around the neck, you can connect the device to the cuff as before and start a manual measurement. 
just to check the initial blood pressure level of the patient. This will take approximately half a minute to a minute to complete and then the device can be inserted in the holder pouch and applied to the patient's waist and then the patient is ready to go. After pumping up, the device will measure the blood pressure when releasing the pressure stepwise and after the first reading is completed, it will display blood pressure result of the initial reading on its LCD and also store it in its memory. This is now complete. First the systolic, then the diastolic value is displayed, followed by the pulse rate. Now we can insert the device in the pouch and apply it to the patient, like this. This is the pouch. We open it, remove the waist and the shoulder straps. We just take the device, insert it in the pouch, like this. So once the device is securely in the pouch, we stand up. The pouch should be applied around the waist using the waist strap. And if necessary, it can be secured around the neck using the shoulder strap. And so the patient is ready to go for the 24-hour blood pressure monitoring session. A loose-fitting jacket could be used to make the monitoring less conspicuous.